Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part 4 of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Azerine. In the last part, we, um, well, we took out Afghanistan, Iraq, and we demanded Syria from the French, and they gave it to us due to the fact that they're at war. I'm gonna cite that as the sole reason they gave it to us, because of the fact that they were busy at war. So, we're now preparing for Turkey, as you can tell by the war plan. And by preparing, I mean we're one day going to attack them, but not yet. Oh, that's where we get the F5%. You know, I think the Star Shan should technically core all this for us if we're trying to reclaim historical lands. Now, admittedly, that would be way more OP than 5%, but... It makes sense that we, we would consider all of it core territory after we take it all back. But hey, what do I know? Eight days, the computing machines is done. We get a new guy, so what do we want? An armor expert would be nice. An infantry expert is always good. Armor logistics is nice. Armor grouping. I think I'm going to focus on these guys more. Let's get some artillery concern, because artillery is my favorite weapon, as you should all know. I think after, uh, in like, when we get a new tech slot, which will be down here. Miles away, computer machines, we need encryption, uh, no, decryption, sorry. Decryption's best to get first. Uh, that, I think in this excavation, we're actually going to get tanks. Uh, what do I, I think I'm going to go light, medium again. Because if you compare them, yeah, I just don't. The piercing and armor is amazing on them. Better hardness, defense, our eight crew. You know, fuck it, we're gonna go heavy tanks for once. Let's have a quick drink. Fifteen days, our artillery gets blocked. Pretty sure we could be producing better guns if we tech them. I think I may have to. How many men do you have? Oh, you have a lot of men. And I still think I can beat you with the, uh, one army I've got. And we're going to train them just to make sure I can. We'd motorized. Just so we can get mechanized later on. Uh, should we train you as well? No, I think I'm gonna leave you alone. Yeah, we'll leave you. We'll stop you now because we've got. I just wanted to get a lot more uh, regulars in the army. So, you fought one war and you fought one war. You're obviously much America. Pax Americas, and nationalism is done. Support the nationalists worldwide gives me 2% more um, recruitable population. I don't know how much that actually is, but it's 2% more, which is nice. Um, we're still not recognizing the official major power, um, which is kind of insulting. The UK's fascist support is growing, uh, which is good because we obviously want to fuck them over when we uh, prepare for the war with uh, uh, for Jerusalem. Some people are joining the common turn. Now, is there a way we can form our own national party, a uh, national faction? I'm guessing there is, but I just don't know where it would be. Yeah, the reason I'm not going down here is it because it's just a lot of free stuff, which is... Holy shit, this is cause? Oh. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. I didn't actually know. That's actually... Oh yeah, okay. Fair enough, game. Fair enough. I, I mean, it would make more sense if you did it in the shower shunt. Because that way you've proven you've already conquered it all. So that way... It should, like, you should have to get it all and then you can core it all at once. 
not have to do the urban rebuilding, and you should only be able to do the urban rebuilding after you've poured it, in the sense of it becomes more necessary to build it, rebuild it. It's pretty cool though, actually. I didn't, I did not notice that. I should um, try and push down this tree a bit more quickly then. Uh, we're going to go towards Turkey after supporting the Nationalists worldwide though. Because fate demands that I go to war with this asshole. And fate also demands that I... Pinta, I do a very precise push from... Uh, over here with... Uh, my yellow guys. Shift click that one. There we go. So we've got our plans prepared. We've got quite a while until we start, so, which is good. Um, right. Again, I'm going to build all of those. Prepare some military factories. Everywhere else. No, 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 the last one I can cancel. Kind of thought, kind of figured that and thought that might happen. Um, but I just didn't think. So that's a dumbass move by me. Oh, well, you know what, fuck it, we don't even need those Civ factories. Get the rest of the shit done. So we supported the nationalists worldwide. Get our claims on Turkey. Yes, we have a lot more population now. The UK is justifying against me. I can't think why. I think that's very rude of them, if I'm honest. I I'm not claimed by anyone, though. Well guaranteed so it will be a war of uh, necessity so I'll probably be forced to join uh, someone um, I think I think being war decked by a power and not being able like being being having to fight on two sides I think that will uh, justify breaking my rule but I, I'm gonna fight the war for a bit first if it does come to it so we've got not long until yeah, this is a problem. Also, we need to get rid of this fucking Anglo Oil Company. It's uh, getting in the way of progress. Once we get, I think what we're going to do is neutralize, nationalize oil, and then we're going to go down here. And there's the fighting for the Gulf. We need to do that one as well. Some friction. Good, good, good. Got no divisions and basic training, so I'm going to recruit five divisions for one run. We're going to put them straight into his army. Some dockyards free, good. Let's continue to put them straight all onto my convoys for now. Don't need a navy. How many planes I got again? 200. 200 as far as I'm concerned, but I don't want I don't want them at the moment, so I'm just preparing for this war, which is gonna be hilarious. In my opinion anyway. Not long now, not long. Not long and Turkey shall fall. Well I think about it, I'm gonna make a next stage invasion for you to join. Should go to there, yeah. That's definitely where I want you to go, for some fucking reason. A push from the south and from here, uh, a very strong push here and a put strong enough push there should do more than enough damage to them uh, for us to push through pretty quickly. Hmm, the Persian Gulf will be very nice though. I'm looking forward to it actually.
do claim Turkey. Neutralize oil, nationalize oil. Turkey has been claimed. Let's go down to four speed. I'm gonna make some dents as many as can. And Turkey joined the French alliance, which puts me all with France. Or so. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna join until I start to lose. I will agree with pacts from to them. Uh, but I'm not going to be dumb and, uh, what's it called, like, yeah, I'm just not going to be dumb, basically. Yeah, psh, fuck it, that's the best I can, yeah, I'm not going to put myself or break my rule uh, without cause to. And I shouldn't really need to, to be honest. Now, I don't know how many men the enemy have got, but... My general seems extremely confident of this front, so I don't see any reason to doubt him. We've got five more men coming. Uh, get rid of this armor division. Oh, one thing we need to do though is actually put that down to there. Create a great war tanks. Uh, give them more max thing. Let me turn you down to there so I can give you more. We're going to get some chromium from the Soviets. And then we're going to continue fighting. Now, I do apologize, ladies and gentlemen, if you can hear any shouting in the background. Again, something I, not something I can uh, really manage or deal with because of the fact that, obviously, it's not, I am not in control. And we're now lacking steel. Again, Soviets. Um, I would produce military factories, but at the moment, we don't need Well, that's not. This game, I know there's no templates. Because they're going to go in here. But, heavy tanks. Okay, so. The British Iranian War, because he wants to take Tehran. Wait, what? Fuck off, Germany. So, I've been blindsided in a war. I'm actually going to rush these guys now because of the fact that I now just need them to the field to crush these guys quickly. Huh. Start your plans. Now, I can't do anything against these guys. That is unfortunate. I, yeah, I'm going to have to break my rule. Because we're both losing, he refuses to join. He, he can't, I can't actually ask to join his stuff. I'm gonna die. Lovely. This will be the first time I've lost in Hearts Lion. Pretty sure we can swing it around, but we're gonna have to take. We're gonna have to break the the Persia, uh, the Turkish quickly. Because we've got this front to deal with, and we've got this front down here. Admittedly, they're letting up this front, so they're actually going to probably get pushed back, but it's the Turkish front I'm more worried about. So we need to deal with that quickly. Got a lot of artillery, so. I think it's about time we increase the artillery everywhere. Yep, that worked. Now we have really, really loud banging everywhere. Push up, no, where's that one guy? There's one guy, or whatever. Uh, capitulating these assholes is gonna take a while. So. 12 to 31 is, well, that's 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 24 new sets of men in Tehran, 
And we've nearly got equipment for all of them. It's mostly artillery. It is artillery that we're missing. So of course it is. Right, Axis. No? Apparently I'm still losing a war, so that makes no sense. My men should be doing much better now. Break those assholes quickly. Now I could just instantly push these guys out when they're ready, and I probably will, just to counter the British Raj and try and push them back. Um, but we'll see. I think this is a situation where I can regain control. And as long as the Germans can capitulate the French, I don't see any reason why we couldn't win this war in its entirety. Because as long as the French capitulate in any of their wars, they capitulate in all of their wars. If you get the sense. They, they, they capitulate in one war, they, they both wars are considered a capitulation by them, so... Yeah, so we'll, we'll win, basic point of game. Huh? So... Yeah, why the fuck are we losing here? It just doesn't seem to like my division's chances. I'm beating him, yeah, he's pushing me, whatever, doesn't matter. You know what you should, you should do? You should go get rid of them. You know what you should, you should go that way. Or don't game, doesn't make sense. Doesn't matter, sorry. I'm going to have to produce these guys early with no equipment, which sucks. Let's make sure I make sure it's only a one run. Because, well, we can't run more than one of them. There's full tanks down a bit. We need more tungsten. Let's get some tungsten then, game. Come on. Portugal, my bro. Stage a coup there, please. That'll take a year. So we're preparing. I knew preparing the fascist would be a good idea. I even knew how good. I just didn't act on it quick enough. Get the fuck out of there. Well, really, we all need to do is take the good stuff, but obviously the game doesn't understand that. Then again, I am trying to push past fuck tons of people who are really better off, better than me. We need radio technology before we can get that, for fuck's sake. Then what should we do? Education reform, fortify Persia. That's what we should do. We should do that really OP idea that uh, makes my country impenetrable. I definitely agree we should do that. Because, fuck you, game. Why I don't intend to... Oh, I made 25. Oh, well. You guys, down there. Push. Go. I think these guys should be able to deal with them. Everyone go on the fucking trains to there, please. For the love of God. Alright, this war is going as well as it can, I suppose. Even my better general is making that fight hideous. This, these guys just don't want to win. It's like my men have lost the will to fucking win. Now nah, they haven't. They, it's just I'm unlucky, I suppose. Uh, yeah, they've pushed in a bit, so my men are trying to... 
go just in circle. Prepare, but don't push. You still need equipment, and we don't want to fucking destroy the equipment you've got. There's British people on this front, so... Yeah, this is quite annoying. And there's going to be a fucking naval invasion. Of course there is, game. It's the British. And we're losing on this front for what reason? River crossing. And apparently we're still losing there, even if... Mind, the mind boggles, ladies and gentlemen, the mind boggles. But unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, we'll have to finish this war in the next part. If you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next part. See you guys then.